This video consists of interviews with park rangers and kids reenacting the rangers' stories. Over a view of Harper's Ferry from Maryland Heights, white and green text reads, Harper's Ferry Ranger Interviews. Over a blue background, white text reads, We are Harper's Ferry Middle School students, and we chose to make this video so we can find out more about park rangers' personal experiences and what they do for our park. White text on a black background reads, Please state your name. Videos of all the rangers arranged in a grid. Kim Biggs. Chuck Dennis. Stephen M. Lowe. Dennis E. Fry. Jordan. Kiefer. White text on a black background reads, what is your current position in the park? I'm a park ranger in interpretation in the visitor services branch. Information specialist. I'm the park landscape architect. I'm the chief historian and I'm also the chief of interpretation, education, volunteerism and partnerships. So here I'm one of the law enforcement rangers. I'm a park ranger. Education specialist here at Parks Ferry National Historical Park. White text on a black background reads, What is the most memorable thing that has happened while you were working in Harpers Ferry? Text identifies Dennis E. Fry, Chief Historian. The most memorable thing probably was uh, the flood of 1985. Um, I lived here, right down here near the John Brown Fort. The house is today the Information Center, the Master Armor's house. Fortunately, I lived on the second floor. When I evacuated my house for the last time, I had four cats. So when I left, I had two cats in one arm and two cats in the other arm. When I walked out the front door of my home, I literally walked into the Shenandoah River. It was already flowing down Shenandoah Street. Text identifies Stephen M. Lowe, landscape architect. I'm not sure if I should even say this, but uh, I had an eerie experience in Building 40. Me and my wife were in the uh, house. I actually saw a cup levitate off the table and then drop to the floor. And we freaked. That's the most memorable thing I can tell you that happened in Harper's Ferry Park. Text identifies Kim Biggs, interpretive park ranger. One of the, the coolest things here at the park was to, to work during um, the John Brown 150th anniversary. And to actually be here in, in Harper's Ferry um, on the night of October 16th when John Brown uh, first came to Harper's Ferry to, to strike a blow for, for freedom. Um, and, and to be here um, 150 years after him that, that evening and um, just to, to, to be on the same ground that he was, he was on, I, I think that, that that's got to be one of the highlights that I'm, I'm going to take away. White text on a black background reads, what is the funniest thing that has happened to you at Harper's Ferry? Text identifies Chuck Dennis, park guide, who, relevantly, is blind. So, one time, I was handing out paper, or handing out maps in here, and they, and they, they print them off on Xerox sheets. So one day I was handing out maps, or at least I thought I was, <laughs> And I was handing out these things, and I'm, I'd handed out about 50 of them. And somebody said, there's nothing on the paper. These are blank sheets. I've been giving people blank sheets instead of the map. <laughs> and I, of course, couldn't see it, so. But that, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Text identifies Gwen Roper, Roper, Interpretive Park Ranger. When, uh, in the summer, we had this special event and I was in charge of the group that would come for the event. And they were supposed to come at 9 o'clock, and it was 9.15, it was 9.30, and they were still not there. And I was furious, because I think when you are coming to an event here at Harpers Ferry, you should be on time. So I had my radio on, and I was just busting. I, I was just saying, I can't understand why they're late. And they told me that they would be here right at 9 o'clock. And so what happened, I did not turn my radio off when I was talking. And so one of the ladies called me and she says, when do you have your radio off? I was so embarrassed. I didn't know what to do. So it was the funniest thing that happened to me in the park. Text identifies Jordan Kiefer, law enforcement ranger. Um, it's not necessarily something funny that happened to me. Um, but it's something that a visitor has done. Uh, I mean, I could go on and on about different things that people have gotten themselves into. Uh, one recently we had up at the train station, a woman had locked her keys in her car. And, uh, well, she thought she locked her keys in her car. Um, 
So we have these kits that it's basically a glorified coat hanger. Um, but we wedge the door open and we get the piece of metal in there and we try to undo the lock. So I'm in the process of doing that and it's taken a while. She's she's kind of standing there next to me and all of a sudden she decides to go for her phone in her pocket. Well, guess what she found in her pocket? Her keys. So, you know, that it's funny situations like that where you just you kind of laugh and say, okay, well, I guess you're good to go. Have a nice day. And, um, you know, like I said, people get into all kinds of situations like that pretty much on a daily basis. Text to identify Stan McGee, education specialist. Funniest thing that ever happened to me, Jesse, ask me that question when you turn 18. Because I cannot answer that question. I would say that my answer to that question would not be PG rated or even R rated. So come back after you turn 18. <laughs> White text on a blue background reads, we would like to thank the amazing park rangers at Harper's Ferry for sharing their stories with us. White text on a black background reads, directors Jessica Dash, Genevieve Stark, film editors Scout Purdy, Elizabeth Starkey, videographers Cole Brown, Scout Purdy, customers Kaylee Keisler, Jacob Bullis, actors Alicia Fishman, JB, Amy Hernandez, Cole Brown, Raven Ricketts, Hagen McGowan, Jacob Nadig, Park Rangers Kim Biggs, Chuck Dennis, Dennis E. Fry, Jordan Kiefer, Stephen M. Lowe, Stan McGee, Guinevere Roper. Credits continue for several more seconds, after which appear the 2016 National Park Service Centennial logo and the Find Your Park logo.